inside. Hello, everybody. Today, you see behind you all the wonderful Evies, as well as myself starting a new series, which I really, really appreciate the hype I'm working on. some custom cards as you can see the space and reflection are holographic of course let me know in the comments if you guys dig them if you guys want them I will be doing commissions if that is desired but also I will be giving stuff like that away. Today we have a Leafeon to finally add to the collection, which I'm super, super excited about. I was not expecting at all. My girlfriend is absolutely freaking amazing. And she supports my darkness. So I really, 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 really appreciate everything about this person in the first place, but also she got me Leafeon. It is the only Eevee that I do not have. But now we got it. So, Without further ado, X. Oh man, we've got some cards to open here, and I'm so psyched about this card. It also has a code card. I'll be giving that away at the end of the video. What a gorgeous card! Leafeon is super freaking cool. I'm gonna be very careful taking this out. This is the only thing I don't like about these kind of things is how they put the cards in there. But I successfully did it. And that, oh yes. Is my new pride and joy, girls and boys. And before we pop into some packs, take a look at this awesome tin. The color on it is beautiful. The symmetry on it is also beautiful. Nice raised Leafeon. Yeah, Leafeon again right here. That Glaceon. In all that beauty. And the Glaceon right here. And then we got Sylveon over here. Being all cute. And there's uh, my Sylveons right there that are kind of hidden. But that's okay. It's hard to get all the Eevees on there. But here we go. I'm gonna be saving that Roaring Skies because wow, it's the freaking Roaring Skies. Awesome set. We got some Celestial Storms, Crimson Invasion. I'm gonna pop open this Celestial Storm. Hopefully my crinkle factor is not too much. Because I hate that shit. Uh, I guess there's no crinkle factor because I can't open it. Oop, I can. Uh, oh, Jesus. Again, guys, thank you so much for all the freaking hype. Up in here, up in here. Um, code card is the other way. I'm gonna flip it before I quip it. And then I'll show you this code card right here. Code card. For you boys and gals. Here you go. Go ahead and scan it. Why not? And we've got... A one, two, three, four, two, the front. What energy are we getting rid of? The dark energy. Grovile? I don't think I've honestly ever opened this set, so I'm pretty hyped to pop open some Celestial Storm. Whoa. Energy Switch? Yeah, I've definitely not opened the set. I, I don't recognize any of these. Lombre? I recognize the Pokemon, but not these specific arts. Shuppet? Sneasel? That's cool art. Whismer? That's a neat art, too. Those little, uh, Little beanbag babies. Whoa. And there's something rad in here. I just saw a shine. Oh, wow. Uh, ball toy. I don't know. That's a cool. Uh, I enjoy nice cosmic art. Very cool. Man, I like all the art in this set. It's freaking neat. We got a reverse hollow C dot. And I'm going to put this baby down. Let's save the rares. For climbing the, climb the stairs. The 
let's uh, squeeze into a Crimson Invasion, shan't we? We shan't. Or I guess we shall. Nice. These are opening way, way, way killer than at least the Hidden Fates I've opened. I've had good luck with them, but the, the packs open like crap. Code card. There you go. Scan it. Why not? A one, a two, a three, a four. To the front, and we're getting rid of a fairy energy. Emolga. It's one of those electric rats. Pulled a rad to Denny the other day. Speaking of electric rats, which is like a $40, $50 card, and I was super hyped on that. Check that video out. I'll pop that shit in the description for you to check out that link. Lusamine. Neat star you art. Pumperoo. With the fucking jack o' lantern tits. Just in time for a Hollow's Eve. Stuffle. Alolan Geodude. There's a lot of uh, alternate arts of Alolan Geodude. I haven't seen this one, and this is actually the coolest. It looks a little, a little menacing there. A sneaky Geodude. Cancer. Well, fuck you, Cancer. Ooh, cute Mincino. That's a neat reverse hollow, and we'll go right to the rare, and it's going to be... Ooh! Nice! Holographic type null. Cool. Let me get the sleeves ready. And uh, I'm pretty sure we got something bomb diggity funky fresh from that first one. That's cute. Let me put you over here. And this type null is a pretty rad pull. And actually, there's a lot of detail going on there. That's a beautiful hologram. Beautiful. Type null is a super weird Pokemon, though. I have no idea what the heck it's supposed to even be. And that's why it's type null, I guess. And we'll put, um... Hmm. Okay. Let me pop into one Celestial Storm before we see what's in our first Merce. I think. I can. Let me cut this quick so make it easier for me to edit. Okay. We're here. Just for easier to edit that way. Oh, uh, yeah. Trico. How you doing, Shmiko? Code card. Be boys and girls, wherever you are, all over the world. Which is super cool that my uh, my channel is expanding. I got a bunch of people that follow me in Australia. I got some New Zealand guys up in here. I've got some people in Asia. I will eventually be able to send cards out that way. Kecleon. It's neat art. Uh, I enjoy those weird doodle arts. Kind of like a fan, fan art, sort of. TV reporter. That would be really cool to get the full art of that. Life herb. I think there's also a full art. Or a gold rare of life herb. That would be really cool to pull any kind of gold rare. There's our Trico. Skitty Skitty. I'm absolutely loving the art in these cards. Spinarak. That's like the only one I've seen before. Baggin. What the fuck? Baggin with the alternate art. Baggin. All right, I guess. Loudred. <laughs> a reverse hollow. Uncommon. Pretty neat. And our rare is... Oh, whoa. Non-hollow, but that is badass card right there. Cool. That's actually one of the first grip arts I sent out was a, uh, a Mega Skeptile to uh, my buddy. Hopefully he still, still watches my videos. I have no idea. Jacob Portillo is his name. So I'll put this over here. That's pretty cool. I will put this here. Drum roll. And let's see what we got out of this first pack. Oh! That is freaking cool! <whistles> oh yeah! Stack Attacker GX Ultra Beast. That is sick. I think that was actually the pack art. And it is always cool to pull the pack art in a GX or a full art every time because 
Well, it's advertising the best freaking card. And here it is. Woo! Oh, yeah. I love when I have good luck. Honestly, um, because of how much I love the Eevees, I probably wouldn't even care if uh, I didn't really get anything. This was a gift from my lovely, lovely, sweet, nice, awesome girlfriend. My best friend. And in honor of that, you guys haven't seen this tin in a little bit, have you? Nope, you haven't. But it's still filled with freaking names. You guys have been commenting. Even I've been using the generator, I've still been adding names to this thing because uh, that's what I asked you guys to do. So, you know, I'm not going to disregard what I asked and then uh, make it do it for no reason. So, in honor of pulling this baby on top of my already awesome final Eevee to the collection. Obviously, there's so many different Eevee cards you can get. The collection will never stop. I don't really collect too many cards, but I collect Eevees and Eeveelutions. Um, honestly, though, I have a small collection. But we're going to do a shotgun shoot away for this. Ladies and Jarple Clamps, somebody will be winning this custom painted Pokemon card I made myself. Okay, here we go. Shotgun shoot away. Ready? We're gonna keep this in front. And try not to make a huge fucking mess. And. Oh, I'm crumpling the crap out of this. The winner is. <laughs> I'm really ripping it. NC Packbusters! Yeah! This guy is really freaking nice, and he deserves this in a half. Heck yeah. Honestly, I think when it comes to myself, somehow, energetically, the circle always works. If you deserve it, I'm going to pull your name. It, it's just the way it is. Heck yeah. NC Packbusters, I am super, super hyped to send this your way. Absolutely excited to send this your way. Um, I will include a couple awesome cards in there as well. And uh, yeah, always a couple goodies and cool stuff like that. You've got my first custom scene art card. And I'm really hyped about those. Um, you guys seem to really love them and I'm very, very excited to be making them. Absolutely. Also, I will be adding one of these to each of the winnings in our giveaway. So for our 200 sub, there'll be four winners and each one of them, along with a ASMR painting, the cards that were listed in the giveaway will also be receiving a mystery full art custom card. So thank you guys so much for appreciating them. The more you guys appreciate, the more I appreciate the appreciation and give back. Absolutely love you guys. Super freaking awesome. Let's get into this last pack. Nice. Congratulations, NC Packbusters. Honestly, it must have been 10 minutes ago, maybe. You gave me one of the one of the sweetest compliments ever. And uh, I swear that's how it works, honestly. Sometimes energy is absolutely everything. That is a freaking cool cool art right there glad I flipped it because I forgot the trick was different for this focus you son of a bitch there we go okay code card and uh, let me know if you guys claim those code cards because I like to know I enjoy when uh, somebody actually gets the codes who Usually stays and watches the videos, enjoys my content, comments. Uh, sometimes people just show up, grab the codes, and disappear, but whatever. Carbink, if you do that, then you're missing out because I give away so much rad stuff at the end of the videos and whatnot. Gliscor, that's a cool art. I'm really digging all the art from this. Switch. Whoa. That is a badass card i think that should be a rare because tropius is freaking cool but i'm really liking 
honestly, all the cards I've pulled so far, even even the comments are pretty sweet. That fletching is cool. Like, what? Whoa! I love that art. I'm literally loving every card from this freaking from this tin that I got. That Togepi art is badass. And I might turn this into a flowery Togepi scene. How could I not? That's freaking amazing. I like that card. Not two! Oh, whoa! I forgot about these. We got trippy three-quarter art up in here. And another not two. What the hell is going on? Oh, whoa. What? I'm very confused. Was there not a rare in there? I'm thoroughly confused. Did I miss something? I might have. I might have missed something. Something might have gotten stuck. Aha! Uh -huh. Somehow, I fucked up the card trick and the card brink was on top. Okay. I was like, what on earth is going on? But, pretty cool reverse hollow. For sure. I'm actually just leave it. I think Fear should be a... A rare most of the time, especially if it's badass looking, but always cool to get uncommon. Oh, I'm so unorganized. Okay, so we've got our reverse hollows. This is pretty neat. A C dot is not, but look at that. They're all little acorns hanging from the trees. That is cool. Today is a day of art, folks, because I'm loving these cards. Got some really cool pulls, and then we'll show you our banger pulls right now. Non hollow, but one of my favorite Pokemon, Skeptile, is little pussy nodules on his back. You've got that type null holographic. And you've got this GX. Awesome stack attacker, which made the box super cool. And of course, you've got this amazing Leafeon promo. Awesomeness. And I'm so happy to have. Thank you guys so much. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all those things. I will leave my information or contact MC Packbusters shortly to get them this as well as some other goodies. Oh, yeah, we got a hidden lounger back there, too, as a reverse. But you guys have an awesome day. Also, last seconds. Code card for the tin itself.